Let's get right into this lesson. Here's a sentence. Jessica sits quietly. If we are going to add a quality adjective, we need to know where the nouns are. We know that the verb is sit. There is a word that dresses up that verb. That word is an L-Y word. The only word left over is Jessica. Is Jessica a person, place, thing, or idea? Of course, Jessica is a person. So that means that Jessica is a noun, specifically a proper noun. Jessica is the specific name given to the noun. That is why the word Jessica is capitalized. Normally, we do not add adjectives to proper nouns. We add them to common nouns. So let's change Jessica into a common noun. She is a lady. So the new sentence would be, a lady sits quietly. Note that we had to add the adjective a. Otherwise, the sentence would not sound right. Let's add a second adjective to the common noun lady. So, what kind of lady is she? She is big. A big lady sits quietly. Now, is big considered a quality adjective? By quality, we mean interesting, descriptive, an adjective that is not used by everyone. An adjective that is not overused. Big is an adjective that everyone uses. Big this, big that, big everything. It's overused. We want to find a better adjective, a more quality adjective. So. What word would you use that is better than big? This is when you get out your thesaurus. A thesaurus is a book that gives you other words or synonyms for the word big. If you don't have a thesaurus, then you go to the internet and type synonyms for big. And this is what you get large, sizable, substantial, considerable, great, huge, immense, enormous, extensive, colossal, massive, mammoth. So, which word would you choose? It could be any of them, but don't use words you do not know or understand. So, we'll choose a few. A large lady sits quietly. A huge lady sits quietly. An enormous lady sits quietly. A massive lady sits quietly. A mammoth lady sits quietly. How many of you understand the word mammoth? Most people who hear you or read your writing would not understand what you mean by the word mammoth. So, if you don't know the word or understand the word, don't use it. Okay, what we have done is explored the idea of the dress-up quality adjective. So, the next time you want to describe a person, or a place, or thing, or idea, consider using an adjective, a quality adjective. So I end this lesson by saying, have a nice day, have a good day, have a great day, have a wonderful day, or have a super duper day.